Hello and welcome. This is Thomas's Tower Page with myself, Thomas Janak. This is the general reading for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. And for those of you who have watched videos like this before or videos of mine before, as you can see, I'm not alone. This is my friend Ellen Cook. Hello. And I'm actually in her house, right? Which is much more tidy than mine, you know. I think it probably is trying to tell me something. <laughs> Anyway, so here we go. As you can see these, uh, see these beautiful drawings here? Uh, LM made all these. And they're really gorgeous. And they will be part of a card deck that we're actually collaborating on, which will be uh, a deck along the lines of deeper uh, spirit animal guide meanings. And I will be um, giving the text or the descriptions and the meanings to these animals. And then all these artworks from, from LM will be part of it. And we will actually start a Kickstarter very soon to make sure the deck gets done and there will be loads of different options there um, and you can pledge certain things. Um, keep an eye out, um, it will be announced here on that channel. So please subscribe, really, really important. And now that you're watching this, when you're done watching it, please, please share widely. So what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Scorpio, before we then go into the emotional core, see what happens with, you know, what can go, maybe love is coming in, you know, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. Okay, with no further ado, this is for June 2022 for Scorpio, this is your overall energy. And we've had two cards fall out for the overall energy for Scorpio this month. First of all, we've got the Spirit Guardian of Summer with Expansion. Um, which is probably right for this time of time of year. Um, it's looking at things getting bigger, getting wider. The energies around you are coming in and actually they are expanding. We've got um, some, of, as I say, summer is, is on its way, uh, very much so. And you'll find that in June, actually things will start to get bigger, bigger deals for you in, in many, many ways. The corresponding card that we've had come out is the Aspen Spirit, which is about courage. So there is an element of you need to be making certain that you're not afraid to step up to the plate with some of these changes that are going on, some of these expanded energies. Don't back down from them, face them and step ahead into them and you'll find as a result that the, the, the energy of the month overall will really work for you. Thank you so much. Interestingly, you have for the emotional core, you have lovers and connect. Now, because you're only watching your sign, um, you will probably not notice this, but us recording these um, readings one after the other, um, the connect energy came up for quite a number of signs in the month of June. And we oftentimes have overlapping energy um, simply because of the way uh, the, the, the planets move, if that makes sense. So, so connection seems to be a topic for more than just... Um, Scorpios, if that makes sense, and you have the lovers card. So what the guys are saying to you, in order to um, attract intimate relationship, this is not, you know, you, you, you can love a piece of cake, if that makes sense, right? That, that, uh, I, I do love a bit of cake, but the point is this is not what, what the lovers card depicts here. This is about relationships that ultimately turn out or turn into intimate relationships because it is in intimate relationships that we learn the most if that makes sense which is why this can be so annoying at times and so difficult to begin with but it is important to understand this you you do not learn in friendships um, the really deep lessons in many cases and here it is important to connect but it is not the most important here to connect to the person you are sharing intimate moments with, but connect to who you are, so that you are know that you know who you are, so that you can bring the entirety of your being to the new um, relationship, or maybe if it is a relationship you're already in, maybe by connecting to who you fully are and truly are, maybe you find the the strengths um, to even um, uh, express things that have become a bit stale or aren't working so that your your love relationship can be more powerful when uh, conversations um, have happened, if that makes sense. Right? So this is um, quite interesting that we have connections and connect 
quite a lot and we have had this for quite a number of signs anyway now we're looking at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of june 2022 and the opportunities are quite often financial related and interestingly the first card that came out is uh, maple spirit which stands for generosity so there's um there's an opportunity here potentially to, to to look at your situation and maybe think about how you can help out other people a little bit with what you've got now obviously don't don't put yourself in any um awkward positions to do this but it feels like you're in a you are in a position where you can potentially reach out to somebody might be a charity might be someone else you just want to you know surprise a bit um, and you can be a little bit generous with your finances this month now the other card that came up re-emphasizes this as well because it was the eagle spirit which means freedom so it's kind of talking about you know your your finances are flowing fairly freely this month there was a lot of f's in that sentence <laughs> and um uh, that's possibly what's giving you this opportunity to be more generous with uh, with what you've got and, and I think sharing again it comes back to connecting doesn't it because Absolutely, you yeah. know you, you and it's it's one way that you can connect with people don't obviously use this to buy people don't you know that, um, just buying somebody a gift doesn't mean that, uh, that you, you will connect with them necessarily but it's it's a good opportunity to share and to, to, to make that wider connection now, as they say sharing is caring and it actually can feel really really awesome when you actually can help someone that is not in a position to help themselves, right? Which is where uh, all these um, charities really come in, right? But you will know what to do, not rocket science, really. Um, and that's all we have time for uh, in this video, so to speak. Thank you so much for joining Thank me. You. Thank you for having me in your beautiful home. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.